Hello everyone, this is 10 tutorial and I am here with you. So today we will learn how to use LEDs and potentiometer. We will directly go to pick devices. Animated LED. I will choose all colors. That is blue, green, red and yellow. Ok. So their orientation is as per my requirement. Sorry, I'll choose other color. Green and last one blue. Go to terminal, take ground and now what you have to just do is connect everything to ground now give supply that is DC supply up here so now we are done we will give 5 volt voltage now run so all LEDs are glowing ok this is fine with simulation but if you are performing hardware experiment then the current flowing through LEDs may be higher than the rating of LED so this may damage your LEDs so for that particular case for protection purpose we will require resistance So we will dismantle these connections. And now we will change orientation by 90 degree. And here we are placing. now play what happened no LED is glowing I will tell you the reason let's consider the equivalent resistance of this series is 10k so 10k 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 and 10k in parallel gives 2.5k so if voltage is 5 volt and resistance is 2.5 kilo ohm then current will be less than 1 milliampere so for that LED will not glow if you refer if you refer data sheets so let's reduce the values to 330 330 ohm which is generally used and easily available as well this resistance is sufficient for protection of LED ok and now we will again play so here you can see LEDs are glowing now instead of giving voltage source we will go to component pick devices logic state we will take this give this as input and now we will run it again ok so we are done with half part of this tutorial now we will do same experiment but by using potentiometer potentiometer these many potentiometers are available or just pot but maximum of here are not active so if you want to change the resistance then you need to stop the simulation every time and then change again stop run take reading stop then change the resistance so for avoiding that situation use active active pot this will allow us to change the resistance runtime 
okay now we'll place it here we will rotate it by okay yes now i wish to drag it a little bit down now connect negative terminal to ground take dc voltage source connect it to positive voltage and this as input now we'll give dc voltage as 5 volt now i would like to zoom in okay so here we are it is 50% i'll run nothing is working i will increase resistance step by step just look at the leds so at 60 above 60 it is glowing so what does this mean okay this means that at 60 the voltage will be 3 volt so above 3 volt it starts to glow and near to 5 volt it completely glows now will decrease so in this way you can use i'll stop the simulation go to edis properties you can define the resistance of this potentiometer here if you want to change so that's it from this tutorial if you want to get definite alerts about my new videos then please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching this video we will meet in later videos thank you